Good morning, it's Roland. Um, it's around noon, so it, good morning is a uh, relative term. Um, I'm going to check to see what has happened as a consequence of the nesting box uh, renovation that Trisha participated in yesterday. So let's see what uh, came of it. Um, so the first thing I need to do is drop off Albie some treats for the birdies. There's nothing in there. All right, let's go see what the nesting boxes look like and whether they were actually used. So we'll open up back. We'll pull the nesting boxes out, open up the tray, and there's nothing in this one. And there is nothing in this one. Hmm. So does this mean that there's no eggs at all this morning? Or were they placed someplace else? Yes. So I see one egg. And no others down there. Any other eggs? None there. None that I can see over here. So I wonder if it was just Too much. Yeah, I can't really do that. I'm just putting a little bit of straw in there. Let me give them the hint as to what they should be doing. And I'm going to look for other places where the eggs may be. And sure enough, look at this. All kinds of eggs down here. Interesting, interesting, interesting. So I'm going to move that a little bit more, that tree a little bit more, see if there are more under there. And there are not. Help. What are you doing? Found a couple more eggs. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Okay. 
Okay. So I get the impression that they've been putting eggs under there for a while. It looked like a couple of them had been positioned there for a bit. Wonder if there are other hordes. Looking around to see if I can see any other locations that birds will use. It seem to be. Lots of water. Lots of water, right? Okay, so let me get some. Okay, ladies. Okay. So it's hard to tell, but it looks like the uh, chickens have been hiding their eggs for a while. So I don't know if that's because there's one or two that's pretty aggressive and uh, trying to eat their eggs or what the story is. I mean, there's some evidence that there was a broken egg in amongst uh, all of those, but uh, that's a pretty good haul. And that's definitely not one day's worth of uh, eggs. I'll have to uh, do the, uh, the test to see if they're good or not. Um, the, oh, interesting doors falling apart again okay just uh, need to do just some basic repair on the door uh, as you can see the the top is not in good shape and in fact some of these other pieces need a little bit of repair as well but it's not bad uh, considering the Time frame that we've had and the usage that we've had. All right, um, so this is the second day of a major thaw. It's Saturday, February the what is it, seventh or something along those lines, and uh, you can see much of the uh, the snow is gone. Uh, let's go over to the creek. Those of you who haven't seen this before, we've got a little creek that runs along the property from up there the higher ground and all the way down and across the road so there's a culvert under the road and it goes into the marsh on that side of uh, the road um, the creek itself is full and flowing uh, I don't know how well you can see that but uh, a fair amount of water that's actually running down through there. It's going to be augmented by the water that's coming from our swale. So let's move over in that direction. As you can see we still have a fair amount of property that we haven't put under cultivation yet. Not sure that we ever will but uh, we certainly can make use of putting the chickens on it during the summer. Yeah so here's the swale as it comes into the creek itself. So there's the creek and it goes off in that direction. Uh, the swale, you can see it's not running as quickly as the creek, but there is some movement of water under there. And there certainly is a fair amount of water. So normally, Albie can walk through here. And what we'd like to do is clean this up a little bit so the water so some of the garbage that you can see there um, is taken out of it. I've already done a fair amount of that, but uh, uh, we'd like to take some of the, the fallen branches and things that uh, are impeding the water a little bit, um, move them out of here, and uh, allow the water to actually 
move faster. Uh, Trisha has a um, plan to actually put a pond on the other side of the swale there, so I don't know how well you can see the elevation, but it goes up quite a bit uh, on the swale itself. And uh, she'd like to put a pond on the other side. So we've got some water, a water, water reservoir. Not that we really need water here that we've noticed in the couple of years that we've been here, but uh, it might be a good idea for the future. Don't know how well our well is continue, going to continue to do uh, if we don't end up with lots of snow cover during the winters and lots of uh, rain during the uh, spring and summer. Uh, there's the rest of the swale and what's left of the berm from there. There's another little portion of it over there, but the berm goes across here. And there's a number of trees that are starting to fall down so that we'll have to clean those up as well. Um, and then there's a scrub. I don't know what these are. Some kind of thorn. Because uh, they have very, very sharp thorns on these. Here's one. You can see the thorn itself. Very distinctive and they hurt. Um, and there's all kinds of sharp points on these plants. Anyways, it's uh, about 7 degrees, 7 or 8 degrees, and uh, it feels like an early spring, even though it's early February. So we'll have to hunker down for a couple of for a little while again, because uh, the forecast is that it's going to get quite a bit colder in the next uh, over the next week by Tuesday or Wednesday or so, and we'll have to see what happens. All right there, are the girls. See you later, ladies. See you later. One, two, three, four, five. Don't know where the others are. Three more. Maybe they're hiding. Maybe they're laying eggs. Something along those lines. We'll see. Alright. I'm going to wrap it up here. It's uh, time for lunch. And I'm making sourdough bread. Or at least I hope I am. Um, I've got the, uh, the dough rising the first time and I'll be kneading it and then letting it rise again uh, for a little bit and we'll see how far we get. Uh, see what the product looks like. And the uh, starter looked pretty good. Uh, definitely have doubled um, since last night when I started it and uh, we'll see what we can do. Anyways, um, here you can see, going back to the swale story, uh, here's water coming off of our neighbor's yard. So there's two places that it comes down. You can see off in the distance by the swimming pool that there's water coming down the hill, coming off of our neighbor's property over there. And it uh, all drains into the, uh, the swale here, uh, goes across under the culvert, and uh, down to the creek, and then out to the marsh. Um, we also get water from our neighbor's sump. Uh, you can see the black pipe that's going across, and that comes out. There's a white pipe that uh, you can see here, and then there's some water that you can follow along, and it ends up down here and going across again. We also get water, and you can see a little bit of movement here from the other side of our driveway. So um, if you take a look at previous videos, you'll see that we built a bit of a bridge drain here. And there's a uh, pipe that ends right where all that uh, uh, mesh is. And we're draining water from this area, from the land. And there's a swale 
the little one that goes down there and another one that's our uh, neighbor's property because our property actually goes from this pole to the, the orange marker that you see off in the distance past the power uh, post that we've got that we upgraded uh, two weeks ago and so I'm going to uh, end this here and uh, see you soon.